patterns and sequences. Here we have a necklace, some bunting, and two checkered flags. What could all of these things have in common? Well, they are all made up of repeating patterns. Let's look at this repeating pattern. Here we have a circle, then a square, then a circle, then a square, then a circle, and square. What do you think comes next? Well done if you knew that it would be a circle and then a square. Sometimes, if you can say the pattern out loud, it can help you work out what should come next. This pattern is called a repeating pattern because the first two shapes just keep repeating. This pattern has repeated four times. Now let's have a look at another repeating pattern. Here we have three shapes that make the repeating pattern. We have a square, circle and triangle. Then again, then again, square, circle, triangle and again, square, circle, triangle. What comes next? It must be a square. Our answer this time is just one shape. It's not the circle and triangle as well. Now we're going to look at some patterns that involve 3D shapes. But before we do that, let's just check if we know the names of these 3D shapes. This shape has square faces that are all the same. This shape is a cube. This shape has two circular flat faces and one curved face. This shape is a cylinder. Here's the pattern. Let's say it out loud. Cube, cylinder, cube, cube, cylinder, cube, cube, cylinder, cube. Do you notice which part of the pattern is repeating? Well done if you knew that cube, cylinder, cube is the part of the pattern that repeats. So what would come next? We're looking for three shapes, so it must be cube, cylinder, cube. Now it's your turn to have a go at these questions. Can you follow the patterns and work out what's missing? Pause the video and have a go. Let's go through the answers now. Well done if you knew that a circle was missing from the first pattern and a cylinder was missing from the second pattern. For the third question, you had to work out which bead needs to be added to complete the necklace? Well done if you knew that it was the bead with the big circle on it. So remember, saying the shapes in the pattern out loud can help you to recognise the pattern. Try to work out the part of the pattern that repeats.